Welcome to Crystal Vision. I'm Steve and um, I'm very excited to have you as part of our team and we really encourage you to watch and, and learn from these videos that we're trying to make. Uh, in our past we've had a lot of trouble with training because we've done a variety of things and um, then it's always about getting the old training put into everyone and everybody does the same thing. So today what we're going to do is talk about the eye and the prescription and and how the eye works a little bit and how the prescription relates to the eye and what's happening in the eye and why you need a prescription. Okay, so that's what we're going to do next. So, the eye and the prescription. For today, we're going to draw the eyeball like that. The standard eye is about the same size as a North American uh, ping pong ball. So if this is the eye, this here is the cornea. That's the colored part of the eye. The colored part is actually called an iris, but just for drawing's sake, that's going to be the cornea out front. And if you get a pair of glasses, the glasses go onto the front part of the eye. In behind the eye, there's a retina, and there's a nerve that goes to the brain. The reason we're drawing these simple drawings for you is because I really want you to learn them and practice them and draw them for your customers. Your customers deserve to know all about the eye, just like you're learning about it today. So every customer you come to, it is a very good practice for you to take out your pen, draw a little picture of the eye, and use their prescription to show them what's happening in their eye. So the eye is round like that, there's a cornea at the front, there's a nerve that goes off to the brain. Inside the eye, here, is the retina, and that's it. So we're going to look at just a single vision prescription. Single vision prescriptions are either negative or positive. So a negative person is a myopic person. They're often referred to as nearsighted because they can see up close really well without any glasses on. A, a minus prescription example is like a minus one, minus one. OD, that means right eye. OS, that means left eye. So if this is the eye and you have a minus prescription, light comes into the eye like that. And what, what happens with the minus prescription is the light is getting focused right in the center of the eye. So what we have to do is put a pair of glasses on them. And with a pair of glasses on, we have the exact same eye. And that's the retina there, the nerve. We put a myopic pair of glasses on, or a minus pair of glasses, and a minus pair of glasses is thicker on the edges. And what happens is those same lights go in, but now, because the glasses are there, the light gets bent to the thickest part of the lens, and it hits the eye at a wider spot, and now it gets focused right on the retina. The middle one just goes straight through no matter what. And that's all the minus prescription is. Okay, the next uh, very common type of prescription is again a single vision pres uh, prescription, and that's the plus prescription. A minus prescription is called myopic, a plus prescription is called hyperopic. And people with a plus prescription, they can see far away, so they're also referred to sometimes as farsighted. They cannot see up close very well at all. So if we look at the eye again, we draw the cornea. All these drawings are the same way. You have the brain, you have the nerve, the cornea, and this time when light hits their eye, it comes in like this, and instead of the light going, focusing inside the eye on a hyperope, the light focuses behind the eye like that, and that's why they get blurry vision. So what we do is we put a plus prescription on their, in their glasses, and a plus prescription, as you can see, is thicker in the middle, where a minus prescription is thicker on the edge. So, just like the other one, when light hits the, um, the lens, it deflects towards the thick part of the lens, just like that, the middle one goes straight through, and now that, that same light hits the eye narrower, and then it focuses onto the retina. And that's all a plus lens does. And a plus prescription is something like plus one. 
OD is right, OS is left, so plus one in both eyes. That's what that would be. Good. Ready? So what we're going to talk about now is astigmatism in the eye. Okay, so what we're going to talk about now is astigmatism. And astigmatism is extremely common and it exists in most prescriptions. So a prescription, when we get it, they're going to come sort of on a piece of paper, like that, and there's going to be boxes on it. OD, OS, and ADD. OD, that just means right eye, OS just means left. And a common prescription would be minus 1, minus 50 at 70, and minus 1, minus 75 at 150. A typical ad power would say be a 2 ad. So the very top line, uh, the top part of this prescription in here, that's the distance portion. And this bottom part here, that's the reading portion of this prescription. Um, this number here, that means that there's astigmatism present. Astigmatism is spelled A-S-T, astig, ma, tism, like that. Typically, it means that the eye, instead of shaped like a nice round ping pong ball, it means that the eye is shaped a little bit more like an American football. That's what astigmatism means. Okay? So, this second, or sorry, third set of numbers here, those are axis numbers. That tells us point to point where that astigmatism is. So if we're looking at somebody head on, like this, this would be their right eye, and that would be their left eye when you're looking at them. And this top one over here, the OD, is the right eye, and they've got a 0.5 astigmatism at 70. So if we draw an axis line like that, 0, 90, what's this one here? It would be uh, 90 and 90, that's 180, and 270 and our axis is at 70 degrees, so it's sitting like that. So that means the football, tip to tip, their shape of their cornea, or their eyeball itself, is sort of shaped like that, along that axis. And in the left eye, at 150, is gonna be somewhere in there. So this eye is shaped like that. That's all astigmatism is. It's the degree of how squished that football is, or is it tiny like that? So the higher the number, um, the larger that number, the rounder it is, or sorry, the lower the number, the rounder it is, and the higher it is, the more squished it is. And then the axis goes tip to tip. The next one, we're gonna talk about the ad power and how it applies to progressive lenses. So we're back and we're gonna talk about um, progressive lenses and ad powers in prescription, so OD, Right eye, minus one, minus 50 at 70. OS, minus one, minus 75 at 150. Add of two. The add of two means that when they're wearing their glasses, let's say they just went to the optometrist and they got a brand new prescription and they come out and they can see in the distance really well but if they're trying to read with their distance glasses on, they just won't be able to do it. So whenever you see an ad power, it typically means that we should be talking to our clients about progressive lenses. And progressive lenses are uh, a new way of saying bifocal. So in the old days, and this is exactly what we want you to show every single client that has an ad power, is start to finish, we're gonna start with a bifocal, then we're gonna go with a trifocal, and then we're gonna talk about a progressive lens. So the distance, if I can draw the eye this way, this is your eyeball, and uh, I think it makes sense, that's the eye, that's the cornea out front, this is your eyelash here, you know, that's the lower, lower eyelash, I guess, and uh, the big brain would be back here somewhere. You don't have to draw the brain, just the eyeball. Um, we set the reading distance, the two, when we set a distance, we set it at 14 inches from your eye. That distance is just a little bit less than arm's length and it's standard all across the world. So when we set that, 
the best reading that they're going to have with this prescription is 14 inches from their eye. And distance takes place at four feet and greater. So whenever you see an ad power, uh, it means that there's a spot for reading and a spot for distance. And you can see the space between 14 inches and four feet, it's called the intermediate area. This intermediate area becomes an issue after a two ad. So when you start to see a two, it means that the intermediate is going to be a problem. In the old days, what we would do is we would make a pair of glasses like this and we would put a bifocal on the bottom. So if this is your glasses, the bifocal is on the bottom and we would put the distance prescription up top here. And then the reading would be down here. So that's why it was called a bifocal because bi means two focal. So two focal points, distance and reading. And then when clients went from a two to a 250 ad, they would come back to us and say, I can see really well at 14 inches and I can see distance really well, but I cannot see anything in the middle. I can't read my dashboard when they're driving. So then what we would do is we would do a trifocal. And a trifocal, we would put a focal point right at two feet. And on the lens, it looks like a third window like that, where we would put the intermediate prescription. This lens, the trifocal, is very hard to get used to and most people would reject it because that line sits directly in the middle of the pupil and we would have to tell people to wear it for three weeks and in the third week they'd say they'd hate them on the Wednesday night going to bed and on the Thursday morning waking up they put it on and they won't notice the line anymore but it took three weeks for the brain to block that out. Very hard to get used to. So the modern way of doing this now is called a progressive lens. A progressive lens has no visible lines on it at all. We put, uh, I'll just show you the markings, the lab markings. So it, the lab markings sort of look like that. And you'll see that as you get more experience. But there's no visible lines. These markings get erased uh, when, the, when the product leaves the, the lab. We put the distance vision up here and the reading goes down in a little circle down below. So when they look in the distance, straight ahead, they're seeing distance. And when they put their eyes down at the very bottom, they get their maximum reading. And inside of the progressive lens, there's a channel, and we're gonna talk about these lines in a second, but if, you're, if they're looking here on that lens, they get a focal point right here. And if they look here in that lens, they get a focal point right here. And as they look down, they can get every single spot in that whole intermediate area. And that's why a progressive lens is much better because it takes care of that intermediate area that the bifocal and the trifocal just can't do. Today, there's 600 different kinds of progressives. They're 25 years old and you can still get the very original one from 25 years ago. I believe we can sell that for around $99 a pair. The prices may change but they're very, very inexpensive, all the way up to over $1,000 a pair. We get new different types of progressive lenses once or twice per year. The main difference between a progressive lens is these distortion lines here, basically. The, the ones from 25 years ago, when we first got them, the distortion line was like this. So this whole lens was distorted. You couldn't see out of it unless you looked directly through the center. And now, as they, they're getting better and better, these distortion lines are pushed way out to the side and you get all of this would now be clear vision instead of distorted. So the new ones are much better. Basically, the, the newer ones are better and they're a little bit more expensive, but if people are trying to save money, we can still get them any sort of uh, progressive lens technology that they can afford. And that's it. Thank you very much.